wonderful time. I surveyed all of my relationships and I thought about what did the glove compartment box or gym bag or bag look like to me. And one of the things that resonated with me was saying, it's okay when it really wasn't, or I'll be fine when I really would. Because in reality, no one knows how to answer this question. If you know how to answer this question right now, raise your hand. Great. So that's a testament of a little bit of what this has to offer. People find that this question in interviews is like a deer in a headlight situation. Like you're caught and it's like, okay, dang, who am I? Not so I'm not asking for you. Now all that should provide a great opportunity for diversity of thought, knowledge, skills, and ideas. But all too often, as we've seen, it results in generational tension, generational frustration, and it's something that could absolutely ruin an organization or a team. And although this is not a new topic, it's never been more relevant than it is right now. So if you think about the PhD, which stands for Doctor of Philosophy, there's a number of different things that go into that degree. You're gonna spend three or more years doing your own independent research. You're gonna work with a faculty member who's an academic expert in your arena. You're gonna write a dissertation that, as we like to say, is... ...to that question, and for some reason it bothered me. Because as I'm staring at him, all I saw was this nine-year-old African-American boy who lives in a community that flourishes and is engulfed with vicious lions. I thought about, you know, as soon as he takes his first step outside on the pavement, onto the concrete, he's immediately um, surrounded by, by poverty, by crime, by drugs, homelessness. His geographical setting isn't that appealing. He has geographical lions. When he turned on his TV after my year in Korea, and then I came back to the States and settled down into a sensible career. I was in this job for about a year, and this year contrasted sharply with my time in Korea. While that had been the best year of my life, this was undeniably the worst. I had no passion for my job. I felt dull, disinterested, and stuck. A great day at work for me is one in which I didn't cry by the end of the day. Another part of me had died. Now at this point, you may be full. It's like a slam dunk in basketball. Can you imagine the world without dreamers? Can you imagine the world without people who never dare to dream out loud? They never dare to put their dreams into motion. Imagine a world without education. Imagine a world without medicine. I'm